Hello, Xavier here. Welcome back to another episode of Terraria. And here I am actually alone because um, I want to work on some things before I bring everybody in. Because when everybody comes in, it's it, we don't know what to do. So besides, you know, setting up and building stuff to, you know, expand, that's something we don't do when um, everybody's here playing. But I usually do that off screen. And I was thinking I'm going to do a getting materials video and building up some stuff. So... This video is basically me going over stuff like where I'm going to build stuff and how many houses I have to build. So I actually have to build quite a lot of houses um, and I'm going to look at every single NPC that I'm going to be thinking of. So of course the Jotaro hotel, Motel is going to turn into the hotel and I want to make it look like more of a hotel and less of a house with that. I'm going to be gathering some furniture and all that, and I'm going to basically make it look like it's a natural hotel with chandeliers, making it higher. So, uh, let's go do this. Get some resources without having to um, destroy my beautiful trees in the other world. And uh, yeah, this is basically uh, the only reason I use this world is to get resources in general. And um, that way I won't have to constantly die to super hard enemies. And I can just get resources without trying to focus on not dying. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to need a whole lot more wood than 556, but right now, I just want to work on the frame of the entire hotel. So, this is going to be a little sky area right now, and so far, I haven't really changed much, but I am connecting these two buildings due to the fact that I want them to be together. Some of the NPCs will have their own houses, though, so not all of them are going to be in the Jotaro Hotel. It, it just depends on what... NPC is going to have what specific housing. Uh, the NPCs, the NPCs that are going to be in the hotel will have spe special themed rooms in, because of what they do, uh, of what they do. So like the guide will have like books and stuff in his stuff, in his room. And the trader can have like, I don't know, some crates or something. But you get the point. Okay, so with further thinking, I've decided that I do want to give a good amount of NPCs their own housing, but in close range to the hotel. So the hotel is not just only going to be for some of the NPCs, but it's also going to be for uh, are the players that are going to be playing in the series. Uh, so I'll be making some housing for them as well uh, in their respective rooms that they choose you know whichever so i thought that maybe i can build a marketplace where all those market where you buy stuff from well you can buy stuff from, from a lot of places but those respective 
NPCs that actually sell stuff. So, for example, the trader, he's going to be in the marketplace. As well as the painter, the gunner, and the stylish. Oh, and also the clothes guy that, you know, that guy. The truffle and the wizard are going to have their own building. So, for like the wizard, I can have a tower. And for the truffle, he can have like an underground mushroom house, I guess. But we'll, we'll see about that. The pirate is also going to have his own housing. It's going to out build like a pirate ship or something by the ocean. The steampunk and cyborg can live in, in a similar building together. Um, I might put them right as neighbors in the hotel. The tax collector. Oh, that one's going to be fun. I'll probably put that one near the trader's market as well since you get money from him. So he can be like uh, the governor of like the trade market or something. So I'll do like five different rooms in the trade market here. So this right here is going to be the trader's market. I'm going to align all this with stone bricks, but I'm going to need a lot of bricks for that. Okay, so after like at least an hour of collecting um, just in general stone, I finally was able to make this many bricks and I placed them down in this area, which will be the market housing is going to be the section. Over here, I've upgraded the bridge from wood to stone, and I've got, got made it like a nice looking castle looking thing. Uh, I haven't really changed anything besides making this a little stone pad, and I haven't worked on anything else. But, we still got more, so let's continue working on the market housing. Alright guys, I'd like to say I finished it, but technically it's not done yet. So here is the marketplace that I want to work on. I think it looks really nice right now. I can't wait to uh, get some actual roofing for the uh, the roof. Uh, I also did some exploring and I actually got myself some a deadly phoenix blaster, which is going to be one of the best things, as well as this armor that's going to be helping me as a ranged class. Now, um, I got some more NPCs coming in here, so this is the marketplace, so I've decided on the um, NPCs that are going to live here. So right here on this area, is, this is where the uh, the old man is going to live, the merchant. We're going to have a goblin tinker here. The tavern keep, I'm going to move somewhere else, uh, and he's going to have like a little tavern in the hotel or something. Then here, right here, I'm going to have the um, tax collector, but here I'm going to have the mechanic. That's why I have all this stuff here, so... It get, gets that feel. And once I get more furniture and items, I'm going to fill up the room more and more to give it more of that feel. Kind of like the painter, I'm going to have more than one painting. So, it'll have this painting right here and then another one right here. Maybe I can buy something from him and then put it there. Uh, but, yeah. And then this bottom area, I'll fill it up with, like, random merchant stuff. I don't know, something... So yeah, and then I haven't worked on anything else, but uh, this is where I'm going to end it here today. I've played for quite a while. It took me two days to make this whole thing and collect every single thing. It was kind of time consuming. But uh, thank you guys for watching today's episode of Terraria, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye!